For the sake of this video, I'm going to take my mask off, but please, during the coronavirus and until we really get a vaccine, wear a mask, please. The video you're about to see actually was made before recent events in the Yucatan. We've had a tropical storm, two hurricanes, and a hurricane that got close enough to be a tropical storm. So on top of the coronavirus, we've had a lot of problems here. On top of that, our latest fundraising effort was shut down by Facebook. Apparently their artificial intelligence, which was put in place to take ads down for the election in the United States, actually affected a lot of charities and small businesses trying to raise money. And we were one of them. So we're redoing our fundraising effort with a new introduction to the video that you might have already seen. But right now, as the holiday season begins, with Thanksgiving and Christmas, we hope that people can donate and help us. We're behind over a month on raising funds. We still have our same programs. We're still feeding people out in Las Torres, but our money is out. We need to raise more. We're still doing the soup kitchen. We're doing chili uh, macaroni Wednesday nights. That we're, you know, we might be able to do one or two more weeks, but we're gonna be out on that too. So we are at a critical level. We need to bring money in now. You might see us in new platforms. If we can't work things out with Facebook, you might see us on Instagram, or you might see us on YouTube. You might see, I don't know, just a direct email. We might go old school, but you'll hear from us one way or another. So donate if you can, pass it on if you can. We appreciate any help you can get because there's a lot of people that need help down here. Thanks. Desde el primer día que nosotros llegamos acá se los dijimos. Uh -huh. No hay nada gratis. Uh -huh. Nada. Uh -huh. Aquí, como le dije, yo no soy política, no uh -huh. me interesa tu voto y no te regalo nada. Trabájalo sí, sí. y obtengo. You've been introduced to Anarina. She's running the school out here at the southern part of Las Torres, the towers. The work that Anarina is doing here at the school is rather remarkable. She is a remarkable woman who basically makes everybody work for what they get. Soy Marta Honorina Herrera Cetina, Presidenta de la Fundación, contando con un amigo de aquí de Playa del Carmen, Quintana Roo. Nosotros tenemos cinco años, vamos a lugares con mucha necesidad, en la cual llevamos los zapatos, ropa, comida, despensas, en lo cual entregamos a las personas, pero siempre es a través del trabajo de ellos. ¿Por qué? Porque creemos y pensamos que no hay nada mejor que los mismos habitantes mejoren su entorno. Y vimos que la necesidad más fuerte, a pesar de ser, en este caso, el alimento, también vimos que los estudios o el aprendizaje para los chicos era muy importante, ya que encontramos con niños de 9, 10 años que nunca habían asistido a la escuela. Cuando nosotros llegamos acá y iniciamos, vimos que la necesidad prioritaria de los chicos era, el, era comer, porque si queríamos enseñarles si tenían la pancita vacía, pues era algo que ellos no podían lograr. Entonces, ¿qué fue lo que hicimos? Que desde el primer día de clase a los chicos se les da alimento, se les da desayuno y se les da comida caliente que pueden consumir aquí en la escuela o lo pueden llevar a casa para compartir con su familia. A veces tengo 25 despensas, vinieron 30 mamás. Bueno, les doy primero a unas y en la siguiente no les doy a esas, les doy a las otras. This, this is perfect. This is what I want. We will work together. Another new approach is we're going to bring all of the materials to make the food packages here to the school. So the women who will ultimately get the packages will be making the packages. This way we're buying bulk, and we're probably saving 30%, and we're getting 30% more so we can give 30% more people some food packages. So it's a big deal, and uh, I think there'll, there'll be a greater appreciation. It'll be a, a community effort. Because I think there's nothing better than to help us, but I think the best thing is to empower us. Es decir, enseñarlos a salir adelante y que la situación en la cual están viviendo ahora no es necesariamente en la que se puedan quedar, que sino que con estudios y preparación van a tener mejores oportunidades de vida. 
y eso es lo que nosotros queremos para cada uno de los chicos que tenemos aquí en la escuela. This is what I have come to really respect about Ana Arena and Las Torres is, you know, there's a lot of pride here. There's people that want to work, that, you know, don't want to be handed something. They want to work for it, they want it to have value. Ana Arena is teaching this value, whether it's to the children at school. In the same breath, the mothers are not just given these food packages. They have to earn them as well. They have to teach, they have to clean, they have to serve food, they take care of the school. Some of them even help fill in the potholes in front of the school. This is a magical place. There's good people, there's hardworking people. There's Ana Arena, who has been working here for years, you know, and got this school built from a shack. And I want to try to help her realize helping more people as much as possible. Te invitamos a que te sumes a esta campaña para poder recaudar fondos, para poder comprar las despensas para estas familias. Con lo poco que tú nos puedas dar, puedes sumar para poder ayudar a muchas de ellas. Soy Honorina, ayúdanos a ayudar. These people are on the edge. Help pull them back from the edge. That's all I'm trying to do. A little further back from the edge, so they don't fall off. Thanks. Thanks.